Hi everyone, welcome back to another Omicron update. Now the situation in the UK is changing very rapidly. The UK Health Security Agency released a technical briefing document on December 10th that gave a very detailed update on the current Omicron status. I'd like to point out the updated vaccine efficacy based on real-world data and what we know about natural immunity and T-cell immunity against the Omicron variant in this quick update. Here we are looking at two graphs that estimate differences in the vaccine effectiveness against the Omicron and Delta symptomatic infections. The first graph here showed two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine weighing over time against the Delta variant, which are the black square dots. The report pointed out that the estimation for the Omicron is likely to be unreliable based on small numbers and are from the older population and population with more comorbidities. But with a Pfizer booster dose, it restores the effectiveness to about 70% against infection. The second graph shows the effectiveness of the Pfizer vaccine. Basically, if a person had just received the second dose within two to nine weeks, the vaccine effectiveness against infection is about 80 to 90 percent for both the Delta and Omicron variant. Now, but the effectiveness dropped to a relative steady level of about 30 percent in three to four months. The booster shot again restored the effectiveness against symptomatic disease back to the upper 70 or close to 80 percent. Now, but the question that remains is how long this booster effect will last and we are at the mercy of time. In terms of the natural immunity, the preprint here showed neutralizing antibodies among people previously infected with the alpha, which is the panel E, beta panel F, and delta panel G, completely failed to attach to Omicron, which is shown here with my pointer. Now, those that were infected and plus vaccination had the strongest response to Omicron here showed on the panel H here. So what about T-cell immunity? Now the good news is that the body has CD8 cytotoxic T-cells. Now remember, these T-cells are responsible for killing virally infected cells and preventing disease progression. This second preprint study by a group of researchers from the NIH and Johns Hopkins University looked at if CD8 T cells collected from 30 recovered patients can recognize the Omicron variant. Collectively, these CD8 T cells can recognize 52 unique parts or different epitopes of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, and only one of the 52 recognizable area is mutated. This means the CD8 T cell from recovered patient and most likely from vaccinated individuals should still be effective against the Omicron variant. Now, so even though the number of infection will increase sharply, people will largely stay out of hospital based on the current known data. That's all for this quick update. Again, I hope everyone can stay safe. And for my UK viewers, please take extra caution. Now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.